Hello, welcome back to another Mediocre Painting with Wayne. Today we're trying out these new, uh, from Ammo, the DIO dry brush paint. These are their new water-based acrylic dry brush paints. Similar to the Games Workshop dry brush line from what I've been able to tell so far. So without further ado, let's dig into this. First things, pretty good sized jar. Uh, you get a lot more of this, 40 milliliters uh, in these. So that's good right off the bat. And uh, I think the retail on these is just around like 450 or five bucks for 40 milliliters. Already that's value compared to the GW uh, little 10 mil pots that they have, 10 or 12 mil pots of dry brush paint. So we're already getting value. Let's see what we got consistency wise. So you can see it's, it's pretty, pretty stiff in there. Hoy, 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 hoy. Uh, so let's try it out on some chain mail, shall we? I got a couple of spare little test models here we can try this out on. This is the uh, light metal, so we'll see how it looks. I'll be on brand, and I'll use this uh, this ammo uh, synthetic brush here. We'll use that. It's kind of messed up on the tip because I've been using this thing for like a year and a half, and it's at the end of its life. You know, I'd use this AK dry brush, but I think if you mix AK product with ammo, it'll blow up in your face, but uh, I'm not, I've only heard that as a rumor. So, uh, they're rival companies. That's the joke. One guy got fired from the other one and formed the new one. Shh. All right. So, got a little bit of silver. The directions on the side of their bottle. Water-based acrylic paint formulated for highlighting the details of a model using the dry brush technique. Moisten the brush with the color and wipe it off onto a paper towel, then gently rub the surface to subtly deposit the remaining color until the surface details pop out. So they give you, you know, they give you little instructions on how to use their, their product. And so I'm trying to follow, I'm using a paper towel. You could do a paper plate too, or your hand. Old school painters doing it on their hands so you know what consistency you're getting. All right, so let's see what we can do. A trusty old beastman here with his chainmail shirt. The trick with dry brushing is, if at all possible, you want to keep your brush moving in the same direction. So, if you start, you know, from here we're going top to bottom, and then resetting top to bottom every time. Because if you like, if you go top to bottom and then go bottom to top, you kind of ruin your effect of highlighting the edges in the direction of light that it's hitting because then you're just you, you'll actually like fill in the gaps and the holes and the, and the shaded spots at that point point. and you know what that's a let me do a makeup person thing put my hand behind it it's not bad it's not bad at all it's a good color actually i like that chain mail so it looks good on the armor plate too, kind of makes it pop. So pretty cool. Not a lot of, not a lot of wasted paint using a, um, like regular dry brush technique. But I mean, it's, you're going to have some wasted paint obviously, but I do like the, uh, the consistency that this is already just a little bit thick coming out the pot. this blade Let's see if it shows up on this chainmail I've already GW chainmail that I put on his axe head see if I lighten up that axe edge oh that's nice that's a nice little shine it's putting on on that honed edge All right, stop the press. I'm a, I'm already in, at least on the silver. All right, heck yeah. Cool. All right, let's try some other colors. Because I don't want any extra moisture in my brush, I am going to use this uh, AK Interactive brush with this ammo paint. So we're going to cross the streams, and uh, hopefully it doesn't explode. This is the medium green. Uh, AMIG 606 and I'm going to try it on this uh, Battletech mech that I've had for a while 
and see if we can't uh, bring out some highlights on the edge on the edging here and here we go all right don't mind the paint chip this dude's been around a while of course we're kind of doing this on the fly so this may not be the ideal highlight color but it was a green model that I had handy to try and show you some green dry brush highlights. There we go. Make for some interesting effects. If you wanted to like, oh, the light's hitting it up here. So it's, it's been sun faded. You want to detail your mech out like that and that's cool so now it looks like he's got you know some sun faded a little bit of fading or maybe heat damage or whatever you want to call it but it's cool and like when you look at him real close you can tell it's well shit that's obviously dry brushed and that's you know it doesn't look realistic when you're this close to it but like most of our painting techniques when you view them couple feet away on a tabletop and there are a bunch of other models around it the effects are stark and it brings out the detail of the model and you're like oh well shoot that looks really good like that nice so so far these paints are pretty convenient I like the colors that they've come up with is it revolutionary no is it convenient yes um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that these are cool these are worth purchasing and I mean for you know around five dollars to get 40 mils of dry brush paint a, a paint that you can just use I mean this, this will last you a long time so review me says good investment necessary hell no convenient though absolutely obviously it's gonna look a little different on your computer screen but uh, we wanted to just show what the different colors were all right I lied I want to do one more um, so I have an old Space Wolf model uh, that a friend of mine painted a long time ago. And I want to try this. Uh, this is the light blue. Because I felt like it would be a good uh, Space Wolf gray highlight. And it turned out, yeah, it works pretty well on that, uh, on that blue. So if you want to lighten up the beak of the beaky. Marine, do some, do some highlights on the knees, or wherever the mood strikes you for highlighting your, your space wolves. But that's definitely a, a cool color for it. So there's definitely more applications for these dry brush colors beyond obviously military modeling, which is where a lot of initially a lot of ammo products and a lot of and AK products, they were very focused on the military modeling crowd. And then both companies realized, hey, you know who buys a lot of gimmicky paint stuff? War gamers. Let's make some different and brighter colors. So I appreciate them adapting to the market. So yeah, these are, uh, these are cool. You're definitely getting your money's worth. Hey, it's me, Allison, your friendly neighborhood editor. Wayne didn't record an outro, so I'm here to let you know that we appreciate you for watching. Let us know what you'd like Wayne to review next, and subscribe to stay in the loop and help us gain the favor of the YouTube algorithm overlords. Thanks again for hanging with us, and we'll see you next time.